This tutorial will walk you through the steps to complete your online enrollment. Before we get started, it's important that you have a few things ready. First, you'll want to have your enrollment form readily available. Your completed enrollment form will be either yellow, pink, or blue, depending on your grade level. Use this form as a worksheet for online enrollment. You can see my example on the screen. Next, you'll want to have access to the Academic Program Guide. You can find this on our website. Simply click on Students, and you'll find it under the Academic section. The Academic Program Guide has important information, including a description of all of the courses available at Glenbard South, graduation requirements, four-year planning tools, and other academic program information. Next, we're ready to log into PowerSchool. You can log into PowerSchool by going on our website and clicking the Parents and Family section. You'll find the PowerSchool login under the Accounts section. Click on Parent and Guardian PowerSchool login. You will use your username and password to sign in. If you forgot your username or password, you can click on Forgot Username or Password, or you can click on Instructional Video Series for helpful videos with trouble logging in. Once you are logged in, click on Class Registration that's located on the left-hand side of the screen, highlighted here. After you click on Class Registration, you will be directed to a page that says Welcome to the Glumbart South High School Class Registration System. Please be sure to read all of the following important information at the top of the page that includes information about balancing course load, the enrollment handbook, graduation requirements, school counselor, helpful tips, and deadlines. We are now ready to begin selecting our courses for next year. Scroll down until you see the course selections that are available. Find a course area to choose a class. Click on the pencil to display the courses. This is an example of English 2 course offerings. It's important to note that for a full year course, you want to choose both a first and second semester course. Any course code that ends with a 1 is a first semester course. For example, EN2011 is English 2 first semester. Any course that ends in a 2 is a second semester course. In this example, EN2012. Course codes that end in 3 or 4 may be scheduled in either semester. What you'll want to do is select a first and second semester course and click OK. You should see your courses displayed on the screen just like this. You will want to continue to do this for the remainder of your courses. Remember, you'll be referencing your enrollment form to help you complete this process. In order to finalize your course enrollment, you'll have to scroll down to the bottom to click Submit. Make sure that you have, at minimum, seven credit hours. You can see how many credits you're requesting by scrolling down to the bottom. Here you will see that my example shows I am requesting seven credit hours. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful. Feel free to reach out to your school counselor if you have any questions about the enrollment process.